Good morning. This is about fitting Givy Trekker lights, the S310s. Now I'm fitting them on my uh, BMW G310, <laughs> S310, G310, GS. <laughs> Very close. Quite simple to do. It's all plug and play, but one thing you do have to remember is if you cut a wire on a BMW while it's under warranty, it voids the warranty. So be warned. This is how I'm doing it with plug and play. These are the lights. Yeah. I fitted them there with the Givy short bars. But that'll have to be changed in the future due to uh, the upper crash bars coming. That's the right side. A little, uh, I don't know, see how they fold in. They uh, fit in on the metal bra that runs across underneath. I don't know if we're going to get a shot of that. That's the one. There they are. There you see it underneath there. I point to it up there. That's where these little Gibby bars are. I can't wait a minute. Two seconds. Two. There we go. Just uh, there. That's where they fit. Uh, you get about six inches of wire with them. So I believe in them on. The wiring harness, well, I could scream. <laughs> it's that long. It's amazing. I've just sat on a pair of pliers. Right, start off with. You get a very long piece of uh, wiring harness. This is the battery. You get a, a relay, which is that one. This here is a, a live feed to the... Uh, Either the battery, I'll explain this green wire, or to a live when it comes live when the ignition's on, which is going to be the way that I am um, wiring them. The reason why is if you can wire this to your battery, the lights are going to stay on. So if you forget to turn your lights off in the daytime, you're going to drain your battery, which is not good. So I fitted that all in there. The wiring harness follows the original wiring harness along comes up through here around here down the bottom uh, can I get my finger in yeah there my fingers pointing to it it comes up comes through here this is very long wire this is for the switch which is that'll do nice because I'm, I'll see what I'm gonna do with that now this is the switch here you get about a foot of wire in on that literally so i'm gonna desolder the turnimals in there cut this here and solder cut these here and solder them onto the plug so there's a foot of wire saved there which is far too long but then again every bike's not the same is it so that'll be all taken care of uh coming around back to the battery way uh it comes through here this one here and that uh, where's it gone yeah look how long that is that's how long that is well i'll put it to the back of the bike so from there all the way along to the back of the bike and that's on the bmw g 310 gs so what i'm doing i'm uh, cutting here one to the live which is obvious and then one to the earth terminal so i'll have minimum wire excess wire so that'll be nice and neat um as i said i've got to solder that and then just rebuild the bike up but i've got to find somewhere where i've got to wire this into a live when the ignition's on without cutting the wires because bmw will invalidate the warranty that's what they told me you've got to use plug and play so that's what i'm doing i thought i'd just update you with what i've done these are the uh Rally Raid product mirrors, the ram mount ones. You see them there. The idea is they're absolutely brilliant because the original BMW mirrors, they buzz. Yeah, you can see me. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, what it is, when the bike goes over, these just like, these just like flick out of the way without damaging. 165 pound a pair, these mirrors are, from Rally Raid products, UK. I'll put the link in the uh, video for everything so you know how much they cost and where you can get them from if you want to put these sort of lights on i've got the uh 
crash bar here. I'll move this more in. So, there you see it there. There's the crash bar. And that's from SW Motec. And then I've got a radiator guard. You see, radiator guard. Quite good. I'll turn the wheel that way if I can. Move this for a minute. That's the uh, radiator guard. I think that was eBay Chinese shit. <laughs> but it works. All I done was uh, used uh, the foam, thick foam, stick on so it don't rattle. As you can see, I'll just point it out if it'll pick it up. See if it'll focus. Yep, just there, where my finger is, you see the foam where it ends. That's a uh, see. And the foam rubbers. You'll see it, I'll get a tap. No rattling, so that's a good uh, way of doing it. Yes, uh, heated grips, Oxford heated grips. I don't know how to say it, Pewy is it? Pew UIG, touring screen, the longer one. The uh, LED lights I've done. I've got um, a, a nice tank bag coming for it, it's all there. That, the bodywork is a pain in the arse. And I mean, sorry for that word, but it's a real pain in the bum to, uh, to get off. Look at all the screws. That's all the screws, millions of them. <laughs> but you live and learn. Anyway, I'll get back to you when it's all done. I'm having uh, bigger uh, foot, foot plates fitted on this. They're going to be quite expensive because I'm buying British, I ain't buying Chinese. Um, what else? <laughs> all different things you forget, don't you? Yeah, uh, and uh, I'm having a bigger... Um, plate for this one here the brake rear brake because uh when you're uh on the bike you have to tilt your foot in i'll just do this again there's your foot resting and you can see the brake and you have to turn your foot in which is not very good so i'm having it uh ex buying a extra uh, extender for that and a foot thing for the side stand buying a foot for that and that's where i fitted the uh controller for the uh, heated grips which works well don't pull no wires doesn't pull no wires so i'm happy with that that's all sealed waterproofed off so oh well and the uh give you sat nav bar for the sat nav that'll work brilliant that will okay thanks for watching catch you in a minute right we're back Definitely back and success. Uh, where shall I start? Yeah, the wiring. There was that load, that load, and that, that, and all that where it was far too long. Have it far too, far, far too long. Anyway, let me just show you my soldering kit. Nice bit of kit that. Right. Where should we go? Right, battery. This one here, with a gold top. That's the uh, power to the relay. Same as, where's my finger? There. I oh, know, all dried out working on this all day. Anyway, the wires come round down there's the main uh, fuse for the relay uh that's the fuse for the yeah that's the relay main fuse this is the fuse for the uh let's get it in sight for the uh live because i've took it from the side light you come up you can't as I say you can't see the wiring it's all traced under uh the relay's here as you know where is it? The relay's in there, as you know, from earlier. The wires come through all neat. The switch is here. The wires come down all neat. Follows the BMW uh, line. So, time and error. Ignition, I'll start. I won't start the bike, because you'll see. This is just the ignition on. That's that new uh, light I fitted, the LED light. 
that's on dip automatically comes on then you have your flash you're picking that up it is bright and then you have uh, yes you have your uh, spotted there you go working perfect and if I uh, flash you can see they still work so switch is brilliant waterproof switch that's the uh, givey one so I'm quite happy with that so no uh, sorting because I had my uh, multimeter out as well checking everything so all I've got to do now is uh, actually put all this that false tank thing and my uh, tank lock and everything back on and that's the job done for today so I caught that mirror and I but just like that's better so it's all done job done I hope you like that's my way of doing it but I'll be honest with you I had to cut a hell of a lot of wire hell of a lot of wire off that wiring harness that come with them lights but then again like we said in it there's no two bikes of the same length where the battery is going up and it's all cable tied all cable tied all under there all neat running in the lines with bmw's wiring as i said so neat job that's how i've done my uh givey s310 spotlights please like share and subscribe thank you well it's all done that's it you see them nice it's all put back together nothing rattling Nothing rattling at all. Whoops. Gotta walk around a bit. Sounds quite nice as well. Lights off. Flash on the LED. Hold the bike up. There you go, that's a flex on the LED. That's the uh, spotlights on. On. Off. So, that's it all done. Quite happy with that. Job well done. Pat on the back. Well... I think the bike's talking to me. <laughs> well, that's it. One BMW G310 GS fitted with the Givy S310 spotlights. Nice.